Well, it appears that uh, Russia has boosted its air defense system uh, in the face of a case of a U.S. prompted global strike and its capacity to do so. Uh, Russia, Russia's active steps in focusing its air and missile defense capabilities are aimed against the potential threat of prompt global strike which U.S. under certain conditions might decide to carry out, says Russia's Aerospace uh, Defense Forces Deputy Chief. The potential threat of prompt global strike by the United States against the Russian Federation is one of top challenges for the Aerospace Defense Forces. Major General Krill Makarov told the uh, Russian News Service Radio, in this regard, an effective air and missile defense system remains one of Russia's top priorities since PGS initiative aims to deliver a precision-guided conventional weapon airstrike within less than one hour after Washington deems the target to be a national security threat. It's precisely to combat the, these aerial assaults assets that we are building the air and missile defense of Russia's system, said Makarov, Makarov, emphasizing that Russia's political and military leadership considers this task to be a paramount importance. Washington's PGS has an overall uh, structure similar to that of nuclear of a nuclear triad and first of, it first of all aims to conduct swift strikes from land and sea using already existing intercontinental sub submarine based ballistic and cruise missiles. Air launched hypersonic missiles uh, currently in development is a second option the Pentagon is working on. In addition uh, there were hypothetical plans of kinetic bombardments from an or orbiting space platform. Russia estimates that by 2020 the U.S. will have up to 8,000 cruise missiles, some 6,000 of which will be capable of carrying nuclear warheads. With some degree of certainty. One could assess that under certain conditions these military assets could be deployed against targets in the territory of the Russian Federation, Makarov said. Russia's new military doctrine adopted last year stresses that the country's army remains a defensive tool but lists the PGS concept as one of the main security threats along with NATO's military buildup along the Russian borders. The Russian military, however, may still be evident eventually forced to do to match the PGS with a rival initiative. Russia is capable of and will have to develop a similar system, Deputy Defense Minister. Yuri, Yuri Basarov, Borisov said last year, to counter the threat, Russia is developing, developing a new uh, generation mobile surface to air missile system. The S-500 designed, among other things, to intercept supersonic targets while the missile for the system is still under development, Makarov says once completed it would be capable of intercepting any prospective ballistic and aerodynamic targets. In the meanwhile, Russia has carried out successful testing of a new larger range guided missile for the current generation S-400 surface-to-air defense system. Tests are currently in full swing, three days ago, we successfully carried out testing of a surface-to-air surface missile which successfully hit its target, Makarov said. While the Russian capital has almost 100% protection from all kinds of air attacks, according to the general, 
The Aerospace Defense Forces, or ADF, are working hard to secure Russia's distant frontiers. In the Arctic region, Russia has already deployed air defense missiles and artillery systems. The Defense Ministry also plans to deploy MiG-31 interceptor aircraft to protect Russia's vessels sailing along the Northern Sea Route. We have already placed Panzer systems in the Arctic. Development of the MiG-31 on Russia's Arctic airfields is planned, uh, Makarov Macar said. Meanwhile, a new fully automatic radar station is undergoing final test, according to the spokesman in the network of these stations. Working without any personnel will stretch into the Arctic and will require maintenance only once a month. You can see different things uh, development, developing uh, Russia's preparing defensively. Uh, this, the world stage is set for World War III. Russia uh, has been flexing its muscles because of the squeeze on its economy with oil uh, and the fall of the ruble. Uh, China is building islands out in the Pacific. I've done a video on it. You can, uh, they're building uh, islands and making runways and uh, uh, places for ships, docks for ships. Uh, it's just something to keep an eye on. Uh, this is the world we live in. Thanks for watching. Thanks to all my subscribers who come back and watch my videos. I really do appreciate it. If you like the video, subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching. Happy Easter.